topic which is very important this classification is very important the hinchies classification of complicated diverticulitis okay this you must be knowing that in colon there can be diverticular diverticulosis rupture of this diverticula leading to infection adjacent to the diverticula is known as diverticulitis so this diverticulitis is actually rupture of diverticula and infection adjacent to diverticula inflammation within the diverticula is not there generally there is rupture of diverticula and infection adjacent to the diverticula now this classification is regarding complicated diverticulitis now there is rupture of diverticula and there is some pus or some inflammation around if there is abscess which is along the colon suppose this is the colon suppose this is the colon if there is infection along the colon or in the pericolic region then this is a uh, type 1 if there is some distant abscess which is either in the retroperitoneum or into the pelvis then that is type 2 if there is generalized purulent peritonitis there is pus in the uh, abdominal cavity that is not localized that is generalized then it is type 3 and if there is peculent peritonitis then it is type 4 this is very important from mcq point of view nowadays they are asking a lot of questions and this grade 1 is localized pericolic abscess grade 2 is distant abscess but it is still localized away from the colon but localized either in the retroperitoneum or in the pelvis if there is generalized purulent peritonitis there is pus in the abdominal cavity that is generalized then it is type 3 and if there is peculent peritonitis generalized feces is there and that is type 4 now what is the treatment generally the treatment that is followed is we first go ahead with the ct scan investigation or investigation of choice is a ct scan and with ct scan we will be able to identify that there is a pus in the abdomen or there is some cavity if there is localized abscess we can give antibiotics if it is not resolving to antibiotics or if there is large abscess cavity then we will have to first drain the abscess with percutaneous drain ultrasound guided or ct guided percutaneous drain we generally wait for uh, the abscess to settle if there is no recurrent abscess then there is no need to operate but if there is uh, recurrent abscess and recurrent uh, collection is there then we'll have to operate generally we'll have to resect the portion which is most affected by the diverticulitis and there is no need to remove whole of the bowel which is having diverticulosis we generally want to, we need to operate only that portion that is damaged with diverticulitis or that is causing the current problem so the treatment is resection and anastomosis of the affected segment only and in the segment that is affected with diverticulitis not the segment that is affected with diverticulosis okay so this is regarding hinchies classification of complicated diverticulitis